Spring has finally sprung for the housing market. After the real estate boom and bust, home prices finally bottomed last year and rose 6%. But prices are still down about 30% from the peak. That, along with still low mortgage rates, is luring plenty of would-be buyers. If you're ready to take the plunge, here's what you need to do. First, run the numbers. You need to determine if you can really afford to buy. After all, just because it's a good time to buy doesn't mean it's a good time for you to buy. There are plenty of rent versus buy calculators online that can help you with the process. The next step is to obtain a copy of your credit report. Go to annualcreditreport.com and request that free copy. It's important that you correct any errors on the report before you start the mortgage process. That's right, before you even hit the open house circuit, you'll need to get pre-approved for a mortgage. Gone are the days that banks will fork over cash to anyone with a heartbeat. The best way to start is to ask friends for referrals for mortgage brokers and to shop around with banks and credit unions. See who will offer you the best rate and the lowest closing costs. Make sure to compare apples to apples and ask the brokers the total cost to you at closing. With your price range in hand, you need to be an informed buyer. After all, you're not going to buy a house simply because there's a pretty photo posted online. While you can conduct a lot of research on the web, there's nothing better than talking to people in the neighborhood for on-the-ground intelligence. Finally, you'll need to hire an agent. As much as everyone complains about realtors, it's really tough to go through the home buying process alone. You want a broker with experience, good connections with other agents, and good referrals from buyers like you.